What is happening, Real Killer Fishing family? Thank you, as always, for joining me for another edition of this Real Killer Fishing. And today we're going to get into quite a few boxes that I've been backed up on. I need to unbox one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of stuff that I've gotten. We got some stuff from Carl's Catch Co. and Six Cents. So we're going to get those things open in a minute. And as soon as we get done with that, we're going to go right into a brand new video of a brand new pond that I never got to fish before. I went out there to check it out, kind of see what was going on, see if it even had any fish, and you're going to get to see what I found in that thing. But let's go ahead and get all these boxes, and we're going to get them opened up. Let's go. All right, the first box we're going to get into, of course, is the six-cents box. We're going to open this thing up and check out what is in this last month's six-cents sack. I have not gotten to look in it yet. I've seen a few people post some of their stuff, some of their sacks that they got, but we're gonna get into mine and we're gonna see what is inside of this thing. Let's just dump all this out real quick. We got so much to go through, y'all. I'm just gonna go through it as fast as I can. I've never gotten one of these tags on one of the sacks, so that's pretty crazy. Let me know if y'all ever got one of these tags on your six cent sack. I didn't even know they had tags like that. All right, first up. Is that Axis 2.0 with that metal bill? These are one of my favorite lures to throw, especially right now during the summertime. This thing is awesome. Uh, I love the way these things fish. I love the wobble to them. And uh, this one right here, the Tiger Truce, that's a killer color. All right, what else we got? Let's pull this plastic off. I don't like these little outer sheavings. The Crush 250 MD, that medium diver right there, that's that Sartreuse Sungill. It's a real good looking one right there. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. What else we got in here? Oh, my favorite color. Y'all know it is. That Black Magic Splashback. That's that nice top water. That'll actually work real good this time of year too. Got a couple places I can actually throw this. Some places that I don't throw a frog, but I think that this would work even better. All right. Ooh, that's nice too. I like that. But let's get into that Crush 50X. Look at that bad boy right there. That is the 4K Shad. Love this color. I love the way the paint job and hexagonal stuff on top is. I love that pattern and all the six cent stuff. All right, the Wacky Hooks. They come in a pack of five and these are the size ones. And we got a hybrid jig. This and the Brush Bomb from Battle Baits are my two favorite jigs to throw all year everywhere. This one right here is the half ounce and it is Candy Blue Gill. And to put on both of those, oh, oh. All right, we might have to use that wacky hook on this 5.4 inch clout. Look at that thing. We're gonna have to get that out, y'all. This is that black and blue flake. That is a great color. This is really supposed to be for stained water, but I think this thing works in clear water, stained water, it doesn't really matter. This thing is awesome. And these ridges, these little bevels and everything on this worm, I truly feel like these displace water and give this a great action. This is my Senko or stick worm that I choose over everything else. I love this worm and this color is super fire. And of course, since I can use that on the wacky hooks right there on that hybrid jig, I could throw this stroker crawl. I'm gonna go ahead and get those out too. Real quick, the watermelon candy. You can't really see this flake and this awesome color on these things. These work really good in the creeks, the rivers, everything like that. Look at that flake in there. Pop that little appendage apart right there. Give that thing more action. That thing works really good behind that jig. All right, get that back in there real quick. And that's what came in my six cent sack this month. You see all those things? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Some crankbait, soft plastic, some terminal tackle, and a jig. Super fire. Six cents fishing as always, getting down this month on some awesome baits. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this mystery tackle box. All right. Whether you like them or you hate them, that Guggen Squad Revolver, that's actually a really cool color with that little crackle looking paint on it. 
It is the Shattered Shad. Pretty cool color. I'll probably have this stuff in a giveaway. A Excite XB1. And that's the Blushing Shad. Got a couple of Daichi hooks. I actually like this brand. Uh, spinner bait, something I've been throwing a lot lately, especially with this wind that we have here in Texas. This is Phoenix Lure and Bait Company, a Shoremaster, a 3 8 ounce. Pretty nice looking little spinner bait. I don't see an actual color for this, but it's kind of a shad, crappie ish type of color. And it says it has Gamagatsu hooks, so that's pretty cool. All right, okay, a company I really like a lot is Biospawn and this Vile Crawl. That's pretty fire. That's pretty nice right there. You can see that pretty good. Sprayed grass and it's a four inch. That looks freaking awesome. And the other soft plastic, Somatis Baits. There it is, little paddle tail type of guy. And of course, little mystery tackle box sticker and all the other little stuff that they have that comes in their mystery tackle box get all that put back in there real quick so that's one mystery tackle box either this month or last month i'm not quite sure which one we'll put that there here goes another mystery tackle box Okay, okay, that's pretty far. We got a pupper frog from Blitz Lures. Let's take this thing off. These things always give some kind of crazy shine on the camera. Pretty cool little frog. It's a margarita popper. It's pretty nice. You can see the side there. Pretty sick little frog, really. Okay, Thunderhawk Mousehead Grass Jig, a quarter ounce. And it is a white chartreuse color. Okay, another fire company. Fire company. Jenko Fishing. It's the CD2. Uh, Gizzard Shad. Oh gosh, I have it upside down. There you go. Pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, Lucky Craft USA. Y'all know Lucky Craft. And it's Aurora Crawl. They got, they're coming with some pretty heater colors and some pretty nice baits in this box. I really, I'm digging this box. I didn't so much like that last one. Uh, I'm telling you, I like to stay honest. I'm not really down for that revolver. That's why it's going to be in a giveaway. Some of y'all like them a lot more and that's all right with me. But I prefer six cent stuff and some of the stuff that comes in Mr. Tackle Box. This isn't my juice that I like to use. But we got some Mustad hooks right here. That's a good company, great hooks. I love using them. It's two pieces, uh, four out hooks, ultra locks for soft plastics. And right here, bruiser baits. I'd never heard of these until about a year or so ago, but they're actually a fairly good company. I like their soft plastics. And this is the Mac Daddy Crawl. Seven of them come in here and they're salt head customs. Pretty sick. Yeah, they have a use the code MTBMAC15 for 15% off at bruiserbaits.com. You can see that right there on the little sticker. And, of course, these two, of course, come with the other stuff for the month. And these stickers are go to Reaction, Twitch, Muscle, and Finesse, little rod stickers. That's actually pretty cool. All right, another thing I got is these awesome Wu Tungsten jigs. I got these things tied up already on my uh, ESP rod with my Shimano Scorpion. I've been fishing these with all kinds of different tubes. I've been using Berkeley tubes, Strike King Coffee tubes, and I'm going to show you what other kind of tubes I just got today. If you've been following me on Instagram, you see my post today. But Wu Tungsten definitely has these brand new tube head jigs, and they're awesome. The line tie right there about a 60 degree angle and y'all find out in another video why i like that and how i rig these things up i'm gonna try to teach y'all a little something if y'all didn't already know about it and uh show y'all a hot thing to do with these 
but we're going to open that one open that one and this is the other one I want to show y'all of what I got because I got those Wu Tugs in the two gig heads X Zone and yes you can order X Zone off of Mystery Tackle Box and Catch Co. I used my what they call influencer pay and ordered me a bunch of X Zone stuff with it. So we got these X Zone tubes and I got one right here that I actually was messing with earlier and it's called Gobi Punch. Pretty cool color, little appendages. They got a nice flake. They're really kind of clear looking. There you go, you can see that a little bit better. They're really nice and soft. They're pretty freaking durable. But uh, yeah, they're really nice. I like them. I'm, like I said, I've been playing with these tubes a lot lately and you are gonna get a video of how to rig them, how I fish them and all of that. Got the, another X Zone, those Swammers. And this color, it's gonna get smashed. I mean, I buy these colors that I do for a reason, but it's called the Pro Shiner. And the bottom is super sparkly. And the top is too, but it has a bluish tint to it. You can see how it has those two colors together like that. And that is just awesome. I, I love X Zone stuff. All right, and of course y'all know I have been messing around with a little bit of these Ned rigs, especially since I fish with T and Yak and Tackle out there in Tennessee. Him and Flicking Hooks and Ineffable Fishing. Logan, I had a lot of fun with them. Brian, it was a great time. So I've been fishing with Ned rigs and checking them out too. Spinner baits, all kinds of new little things that I've been playing around with. These tubes, that's been the most fun for sure. But I did catch a fish on a spinner bait the other day after so long. All right. Let's open this and see. Oh man, I don't know that I'm supposed to show you all that. I have to think about that for a second. I don't know. What's in this one? Oh yeah, some more of that Wu Tungsten Fire that I ordered. Yeah. Oh yeah, love it. Wu Tungsten never chip. Got me two packs of quarter ounce weights. Love using these. Use me some six cents peg X peg stoppers. All right, where's the other box that has the X Zone and this Wu Tungsten? Put it all in there in that one box and I guess I'm going to show you what's in here because just gonna all right well, let's get down to it it's called the leopard frog color and it is the 10,000 fish tataki frog two and a half inch look at that thing you're the first ones to see that. They messaged me the other day and sent me an email telling me that this was coming out and for us to fish with it and feature it and all that good stuff that they tell us to do. Let's check this thing out. Okay, 10,000 fish coming out with a frog. I like the little weighted system they have back here in the back for the hooks pretty nice little leg trailers. I don't even think I'll really have to shore those up or trim them up or whatever. The hooks, I don't know. I was gonna say I might have to bend them up a little bit, but they actually seem pretty good and they are hella sharp. They are super duper sharp. Uh, crafted with a patent pending external weight system. This helps with the talkie wonder across the water. The system is molded onto the hooks to increase durability. Hefty 5 8 ounce size, heavier than most frogs for further cast. Nose is flush with the tie line to prevent debris buildup. 
it really is but yeah that's the leopard frog color of the takashi frog tataki frog so 10,000 fish coming in with the heat with the frog for the summer probably right about on time so that's pretty cool might have to do a little video about that you want to see a video of me fishing with this frog i fished with the six cents vega i fished with the molex frog i could fish with the tataki frog so that's pretty cool so yeah that's what's in the boxes for uh this month's and last month's mystery tackle box the extra stuff that i ordered and the six cents fishing sack that i got for this last month then my new one should be coming in pretty soon so we'll check that out too but let's go ahead and get right into the fishing video i hope y'all enjoy it and i'll see y'all at the end what is happening real killer fishing family as always it is brandon b and i am thanking you for joining me again for another edition of this real killer fishing i've gone by this place i don't know how many times i've even been to the building over here and how in the world i didn't notice this pond or even think to come here and try it. But that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna sling out here underneath some of these willow trees around some of that little island over there and down to some of the wood. Or at least I'm gonna attempt to before someone might possibly kick me out because this is county property. But I got the GoPro ready to go. We're gonna put it on and I'm gonna grab a couple of rods and we're gonna get out here and we are gonna get that line wet and we are gonna go get bent. So do me a favor, y'all. Come with me and join me on my little adventure and see what we can get out of here. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start off with this little Texas rig with a divine shaky worm pegged with a uh, peg X peg stop from six cents. Sorry, I'm trying to watch everything, see what's going on as I'm walking. I don't even really know how deep this is, if it's even deep enough to hold fish. But I'd like to find out. Figure a Texas rig and a worm ought to be a good way to start finding out. more of just more or less a retention pond but I'm seeing minnows I'm seeing fish so that makes me suspect that there might be something bigger in here than just those hey I threw in right here and as soon as that bastard hit the water something had it I don't know what that was, but we're going to find out. Oh goodness, something's chasing a frog in. was on for a second what was that oh my goodness something actually had me something had me y'all I can't tell what it was he's running the bank though look at this thing running all these fish oh my something had me pretty good just did not actually have the hook Holy cow. I wonder if I can put my kayak on this. Oh 
Holy mac! Uh oh. I felt like something tried to hit me just then too. There's definitely something going on over here. Yeah, there was definitely a fish. Swimming. I got him. Oh yeah. Yes, y'all look at that. The first one out of this pond. Amazing. The spear point hook, Texas rig. Damn these spear points. You don't want to catch a fish and hold on to it. This freaking hook is no joke. But there we go, we're gonna put him back. That was awesome. Oh, come on now, hit that thumbs up. We're fishing out here by the Hood County Animal Hospital. Like, this is the dog pound, the freaking county everything. This is sick. All right, let's go, y'all. All right, I'm over here driving the damn dogs crazy as hell. But I found me a clear spot to get up and over, and hopefully, to this other spot. Holy cow, y'all. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Man, right by that big old tree. Maybe something will hit it over there. It's by the rocks, by the tree. Something's getting it. Something's getting it. Something's getting it. Oh, something's got it. Something's got it. Holy cow, y'all. Holy cow. Oh, this is a brute. Oh, he's a fighter, y'all. What the hell has me? Monster! Yo! Look at that! That is a freaking tank! Look at that! Yo! Real killer fishing family! Check it out! All right, real killer fishing family. All right, fams. Man, check it out. That that's a honker. That's good. Three pounds. All right. Now that hook, that hook is in me. Jesus. Okay, y'all. Great looking fish. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Come on, y'all. Hit that thumbs up for me, please. Hit that subscribe button down below. This dang worm is the fish finder. Oh my gosh. This is awesome, this is awesome. Okay, lace that back in. All right, to expose that. That was a tanker. All right, golly, that guy, he was out there just cruising. That's the end of our little trip today.
That was awesome. I had a lot of fun exploring a new pond. Uh, it was awesome to be able to bring y'all along with me. Glad I had my gear and everything on me. I was glad for sure that we got us a nice three pounder plus. Should have brought my scales over here, but I've been catching fish long enough to be pretty darn sure that that was three pounds or more. And uh, let me know down in the comments below how big y'all thought that bass was. But fish man, we're gonna make our way back over to the truck and get back to the Sony camera and we'll be uh, doing a little bit of that outro. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Let's go. Holy moly, Ro Carroller fishing family. Man, I'm glad y'all came with me on my little adventure today. I've never fished over here. I've never had to really come over here to the animal hospital or the animal shelter, the dog pound, dog catcher, whatever you want to call it. I've never really had to come over here other than to bring a friend over here to pick up his dog. And that's what made me even notice this pond. This thing is absolutely amazing. But what you also don't get to see is right over here is a whole nother pond. It doesn't look as interesting and as good as this one did. That's why I fished that one. But we are going to check that pond out and we will be back to test some other lures out here. But I wanted to throw that divine shaky worm on a Texas rig because that thing will find you some fish, especially in the dead heat of the summer like this, especially in Texas. You throw a big worm like that and a big fish is going to hit it. And as y'all see, that's exactly what happened. I want to thank y'all again for joining me on my little adventure today. Do me a favor if I always ask y'all to do, please please be good to each other we're in some hard times and things are getting a little bit more crazy again but always be good to each other be good to yourself get yourself geared up get out there get your line wet and go get bent